Hi everyone, I'm going to share with you some of these fun um, crepe paper trims that I made. And so here's, these are 12 inch strips. And then I just add some of the glitterific to it. And then here's the pink one. So you can add these to your crepe paper and make some really pretty trim. This one I used this Martha Stewart scissors that I had. Um, I've seen these scissors, not the Martha Stewart ones, but the American Craft ones at Tuesday morning. And it makes just a really pretty trim. And then I also do it with the pink. And then I pre-made some without the glitter. So you can pre-make some without the glitter and have them ready to add to your project. Here's some ones um, that I made without it being cut. I made some rosettes. So it makes really pretty rosettes. And so let me just show you really quickly. All you need to do is just take a strip of your crepe paper first. Okay, so this is just a 12 inch strip. You're going to take this Glorific. Now I bought this at Hobby Lobby. It's by Folk Art and um, they come in different colors and then you're just going to use a paintbrush. This is my um, Prima paintbrush and all you're going to do is just grab a little bit here and then you're just going to add it to the top part of the crepe paper like so. Really easy and it makes um, a really pretty extra touch to it. Just like that. Just really easy to apply. Just do it like so. And then you're just going to let it sit and dry. And it dries pretty fast. So you're just going to do it like that. And then once it's dried, the next step I do is I... So let me take one that's not cut here. So this is, you know, once it's completely dry, you're just going to fold it in half. So I just fold it in half. And then I take my scissors. And I'm going to cut where that fold is, but only up to the glitter, okay? So leaving about a half an inch, not cut. Then I'm going to fold it again. Do the same thing. Cut. Leaving about a half an inch. And then you're going to take your scissors. And then you're just going to use that glitter as your guide where to stop. So you're just going to snip it like four times. Three, four, like so. Really quick and easy. And then when you open it up, you got some really pretty trim. So that's how you can make these pretty trims. I hope you give it a try. And thanks for watching. Bye.